Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. First of all, thank you so much for all the support and likes and shares which I'm getting on my channel. So uh, today we will be discussing a one more new topic. So jumping directly to the topic, we will be discussing our first BI publisher report, how we can create a BI publisher report in Oracle ERP cloud. So before creating to the report, uh, let's discuss about when the BI publisher report is actually required in Oracle ERP. So as a integration developer, let's say you got a requirement where you wanted to fetch some data from Oracle ERP cloud. So the first thing which will come into the mind is you will see whether is there any SOAP API exposed by Oracle ERP cloud for that particular data which you are looking for or is there any REST API exposed or if you are using the Oracle integration cloud OIC or SUA. So in OIC or SUA because we have Oracle ERP cloud adapter. So you will see whether in that Oracle ERP cloud adapter do you have any operation which can fetch that data for you. But now let's come to a scenario where there is no such operation which is you know available to fetch that exact information which you are looking for and you want some custom information or you want some information based on user requirement from Oracle ERP cloud that time you will definitely go for writing a BI publisher report. So using the BI publisher report you can fetch the data from Oracle tables. Okay so how to create the BI publisher report in Oracle ERP cloud we will directly jump to the instance. So this is how your Oracle ERP cloud instance looks like. You need to click on this button the navigator and you need to jump to tools and in the tools you will see reports and analytics. Just click on it. After going here click on browse catalog. Once you are in this particular window click on the new button and here you will be able to see the data model. Let's say if you are not able to see the data model or report with your particular user you need to check the roles which your user is having there are specific three roles required for the user to have the access for creating the vi publisher report so the first thing which you need to do for creating the report is you have to create a data model in which you are going to write the sql query so i'll click on data model you will land into this particular page just click on this plus icon and you will be able to see this SQL query. Click on it. Here you are giving the name of data set. Okay. So let's say I wanted to fetch some data from AP invoices. Okay. So I'll say that AP invoices underscore DS. Here is the data source. Let me correct this name first. Yeah. So this is the data source. So because AP invoice is actually account payables. Okay. So I will select the data source as application DB FSCM, which is for financials and supply chain management. In case you are creating any query for HCM, you can definitely select HCM and sometimes you can select fusion DB as well. So as of now, I will go to FSCM and here you need to start writing the queries. Now coming to the point, how you will come to know what is the table name? So for that, definitely you should have some understanding or on Oracle ERP cloud, like what all the tables are present in which particular modules. So for example, for AP invoices, you have a table as select star from AP invoices all. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll choose only two invoices. So I'll go as bare invoice ID in, I'm choosing only invoice ID as 45 and 46. I want to see only this data. Here you do not need to uh, provide the semicolon. It won't work here. Just click on OK. And you can see it is showing you all the columns. Okay. So because this is our very first video on BI Publisher. So I won't be going uh, too much deeper. Maybe in the further sessions, I'll let you know rest all the things regarding this. So as of now to see the data, you need to click on this data button. And you can see there are rows it is showing. So actually it is going to fetch max to max five rows if you select five and maximum 200 rows you can get from a data model. Now someone may ask like if my report is having around 1000 records how am I going to see that data so that you cannot see from data model for that you have to create the report which is actually a process of creating the BI report is like first you have to create the data model 
and then on top of that data model you have to create a report so as of now let it be five and click on view this will show you the tree view if you click on table view this is how you can fetch or this is how you can query the data in oracle erp cloud now as an integration developer there could be a requirement that you doesn't want to even create the report you just want to see the data you want to see the data from tables in oracle erp cloud so this is one of the way you need to come to this pi publisher and create a data model write whatever the table you want whatever the query you want and this is how you can see the data from oracle erp cloud now let's say because i was uh, let's say uh, i don't have idea okay what are the columns are present in this table now because you have the data so from here itself what i can select is let's say i want to see the invoice number so i'll just keep this data here and uh, apart from that i want to see the vendor id i wanted to have invoice amount and uh, let's say the only last thing is invoice type lookup code only these four columns i wanted to see so now what i can do is i'll go to the diagram once again click on it and again click on this edit icon i will reach out to my query so now instead of star i'll select only these columns so this is how you can prepare a query for you this is like very basic report very first report i'm telling you and now click on okay so it will show you only four columns okay click on data view and table view so this is how you can see the data now this is only the data model okay so one thing is first we will save this data model here you need to click on save while saving the data model you can see the structure here one is my folder another one is shared folder so till the time you will save anything like your data model or your report to the my folder it will be available only to the user who is logged in right now you can see fin underscore impl is a logged in user but if you will share anything in the shared folder then on this particular instance whoever the user will have the bi publisher access they will be able to see your report so always as an integration developer what integration developers do they will go to shared folder they will go to custom and here as per the project requirement they will create a folder here actually for example we can say that these are like integration reports inside this particular folder i will be saving my first data model okay so i'll say that ap invoices underscore dm naming convention can be any as per the project requirement i'm clicking on okay so this is how you have saved your first data model now before creating the report you need to save the sample data as well because while creating the report sample data will be required so for that you just need to click on this save as sample data now we will go ahead and create the report on top of this data model whatever we have created so for that you need to click on this create report button and this is the wizard method of creating the report there are multiple methods like wizard method you can create the report using the rtf templates as well so maybe we will be discussing all those in the further sessions as of now i'll go with the wizard method so as you can see the data model is already selected because on top of that data model only we are creating the report this is very basic way i'll click on next and everything is already selected like portrait layout is stable so i'll just click on next so here the sample data was required because you have saved the sample data right so here it will based on the sample data it will show you the columns as well as the data okay so as you can see the columns which we have selected came here so now you can drag and drop this is like vendor id invoice number invoice amount and invoice type lookup code and in this method always there will be this checkbox show grand total rows you can just uncheck it so that will not show the grand total which is not required so now option is coming as view report i'll just click on finish 
So it is asking you to save the report. We are in the same folder. So we will give it a name as AP invoices underscore, let's say RPT. Okay. And here you can see the report. So now uh, there could be a requirement where, you know, you want to uh, change this header and you want to change the color of all this. So that comes under the template design. Okay. For that, you can edit the template. There is a way of, you know, creating the report using the RTF template. So maybe we will discuss all, all those in the further sessions, but from the integration point of view, if I'll tell you how to change it, because for an integration developer, they always need a XML only just click on this over here and you can go for edit report. If you go for edit report, you will land to this particular page. In this, you need to click on view a list. So here you can see the output formats. Directly uncheck all this because I need the data only in XML format. You can see data XML. Just select this one and save the report. After saving the report, if I'll go for view report, you will see the data in XML format. Now, this particular XML output will be required by the integration developer. For that, integration developer have to call this BI report from the external methods. There are different web services available to call the BI report from Oracle ERP Cloud. So this is like our very first report, which we have created. If you wanted to see the report, which you have created, go back to catalog. And here you can see, this is your data model. This is your report. If you want to edit the query, which you have created, click on this edit icon. And this is the data model, which we were creating. So in this data model or in this report, you can see this is very simple report where there was not even a single parameter. Like this report is only going to give you the data for invoice ID as 45 and 46. But let's say if I want my customer or end user to pass the invoice ID. So for that, we need to create the parameterized report for all that we will discuss in the next session. So this is all about how you can create a first BI report in Oracle ERP cloud. Uh, please let me know in the review comment sections. How do you like this video and what all the next things you are looking in the BI publisher report sessions. Thank you so much.